Welcome to Dr. Brumfield's Elite Athletics. I am Dr. Brumfield, and today we have Jasmine here who's come in, um, come in before, but today she's coming in with new issues. So Jasmine, what's going on? So I just had an ankle surgery because I broke my fibula, tibula bone. Okay. And I have a burn pain on my neck area and my lower back pain. Okay. So I definitely want to come and have you check it out and see if you're able to make me feel better. Because I definitely need this pain to go away. Right. Okay, so which ankle is it? The left one. Left ankle. And so tell me what happened. So I, it was during summertime, I fell down on, on the wood floor. I don't know if there was possibly some water or something that caused for me to fall. So it caused me to break three bones in my left ankle. Okay. So mm -hmm. you had on heels? On no, I feet? actually had flats. That's flats. the crazy part. Okay. That I didn't have any heels. I had flats. Okay. Um, doctor is assuming that the way I landed when I fell down, it, 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 the way it twisted my foot is what caused me to break those three bones. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And so you've had the surgery and that's been how many months? Like almost five months. And you're still going, to, going through PT? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you're having some pain in that area as well? Correct. Okay, so let me see the ankle first. Let's go there. Hold that for me on the ankle. So can you can you see it in there? Mm -hmm. All right. So and looking at your ankle, so I'm looking at the scar. They actually did a pretty good job with the the scarring your body. And so what I want you to do is tell me. Okay. So is it tender in here? Yeah. Okay. It's still a little mushy in terms of slight inflammation. Mm -hmm. Let's just see. Any pain when I do this? No. Okay, resist me doing it, hold, good. I'm gonna turn in, resist me, hold, good. I'm gonna push down, resist it, hold, good. I'm gonna push up, push down, good. And let's just see. Okay, so we have some little scar tissue that we need to, to work on. Your range of motion is pretty good. Okay, so that's one thing, good. Now, tell me about the, the back. I get just a lot of pain here on my upper back where it causes me to have like headaches sometimes. I get okay. a lot of a headache, so it's really like, this, how do you say, it's very strong like sometimes where I just be taking like freak, um, Tylenol so pretty with, often. So with your headaches, where your, is it in the front, is it in the back, is it in the sides? In the front right here. And is it a pounding or is it a constricting? Pounding. Pounding? pounding? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how often do you have them? I, I probably, probably deal with that twice a week. Twice a week, mm -hmm. okay. And so, all right, we'll take a look at your, your head. Uh, anywhere else? In my lower back. And so what's going on with the lower back? I just always catch myself, like, when I'm like this, it, it starts to hurt, so I try to work on, trying to work on my posture, you okay. know, when I'm sitting down. Okay. Because when it starts to hurt, that's when it reminds me that I have to fix my posture. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to lay you down. I'm going to do a quick... Um, Quick assessment and then we'll go from there and that'll tell me which way we should go. Okay. okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift your leg. Any pain or discomfort? No. No? How about here? No. Good. How about here? No. No? Good. And we're gonna bend this leg. Any pain or discomfort? Besides hip being extremely tight? Mm -mm. Okay. But no pain when I did that, right? No. Okay. This is the widest you can open? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had hip pain before or problems? No. No? I feel like I need to start stretching more. Any discomfort? Mm -mm. Nope. All right, let's get you up. We're going to turn you over in your stomach now. There we go. All right. So I'm going to place my hands on your hips. Now put your, your hand on the area where most of the tenderness is mm -hmm. for your lower back. Where do you have most of the pain? Okay. Right in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay, so there's a triangle shaped bone called the sacrum, mm -hmm. which is right there. And basically it should sit straight across and yours is actually the left side is gone, we call it anterior which instead of sitting like this, it's sitting at an angle. 
your right hip is higher, and that will give you that sensation. Go ahead and just drop your arms. And now right here, your neck changes. Yeah. Any tenderness or anything with that? Yeah, both we'll tender right there. Let's see this one here. Now let's have this arm here. Is that not normal if the bone changes right there? Yeah, it is. So basically what this is, is this is what's the seventh uh, cervical bone and it's a transitional bone. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, you know, because of the surgery, you've probably picked up a few pounds. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a fatty deposit. But once, you know, once you um, start working out again, then it'll go down. So it's nothing that I would um, be too concerned about. Mm -hmm. But what I am concerned about are the headaches. So let me take a look. Tender there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's you usually these two bones, which are your mastoids, these are the bones that where the, the brain, actually not the brain, skull sits on the atlas, which is the top bone. Mm -hmm. Yours just rotates, so I can see where you're having headaches. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. But it's not too bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you on some quick muscle stem. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the adjustment. Why don't you just take a deep breath for me? And uh, good. Do the same thing here. Deep breath. And out uh, all the way out. There you go. Let it go. Good. Now this one's rotated a little bit, so I'm going to place my thumb here. Just relax your head. Just relax. So that one's stuck. All right. I'm going to come back this way. Relax. There we go. How you doing? Good. All right, so now we're gonna move back a little bit. Oops, sorry. So what you gonna do is turn and face me this way, on your side. Yeah. Bottom neck straight. Just place it right there and lean back for me. You can bring that arm down. Uh, yeah. How'd that feel? Good. Surprised the pop didn't scare you. <laughs> I know, I haven't done this. Bottom leg straight. There we go. Bring that leg up and then bring this arm back. And lean for me. Good. There we go. Go ahead and lay your back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on your neck. gentle decompression. Um, there's a technique that a lot of people use. It's called the Y strap, which I have it. But you're just going to leave your head right here hanging in my hand. And I'm going to contract right here. You're going to get a small contraction and then there's going to be a thrust. I just want you to feel what it's going to feel like first, okay? So just relax and exhale. 
Deep breath. And exhale. There you go. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Mm -hmm. All right, now go ahead. Let's get you on your stomach. Okay. There you go. All right. And so remember, we have the out over here. So why don't you just turn your head this way? This one? Yep. Lift up, all the way up, and drop. There we go. And just relax in there for me. Just relax. Just relax. Oh. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's double check everything. That's much better. Come on up, let's see the neck. Your um, your other stuff. Oh yeah, there's a lot of knots in there. So it's going to hurt for a day or so, and then it should just ease up and loosen up for you. We are done. Okay. We just finished um, working on both surgery scars uh, to get you a little bit more range of motion and uh, to try and loosen it up. Mm -hmm. How does it feel right now initially? Definitely feels a lot better. I feel like I can move my foot around more, have more range of motion, mm -hmm. definitely. And I feel like like the swelling even looks better. Okay. Yes. Because now we'll be able to open up some channels and let the stagnant blood go, as well as work on the muscles and the scars and the adhesions that are mm -hmm. um, what comes with the surgical marks and things of that nature. So, again, like we said, um, ice only for the next couple of days, uh, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on okay. um, if you need it. But for the most part, you should notice a lot better, uh, a lot freer range of motion. Yeah. And hopefully that will help to relieve your lower back as well as your neck pain. Okay. Well, right. thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And so if there's a video that um, or topic that you are interested in us um, doing, feel free to drop us a comment, send us an email, and we respond and read to each and every one of us. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.